Hey guys, Morgan, the Carolina Dizzy Girl here. And we are actually gonna do a little, a little something different today, um, which is really just, it's information that I found out, so I wanted to pass it along to you guys. Um, I am a huge fan, huge collector of Alex and Ani jewelry. Um, not just the bracelets, I've even gotten to the necklaces. And I have so many that it's actually almost kind of a pain to wash them all because you're actually supposed to use an official Alex and Ani cloth, which I have actually messed up bracelets from not using the Alex and Ani cloth. So just wanna let you guys know, if you were using any other cloth besides Alex and Ani's cloth on your bracelets, you might and they might end up getting messed up. Um, I actually have two of my worst bracelets here, um, my older ones, and I don't really know if the camera will really show you. It's just they get dirty because you have to understand that these are made of recyclable material. Um, that's one thing reason that I love Alex and Ani so much is because they are a sustainable company. I've actually got two of my bracelets here. Um, so they use, they don't use pure silver, pure gold. They are, um, recycled materials, which is great. I still love them. This is one of the reasons why I went after this company in the first place. Plus the bracelets are just cute. Um, but when you have 40 or more bracelets, cleaning them sometimes is a little bit of a chore. Plus. Sometimes my cloth can't get everything. Um, so I was looking for an alternative. I have seen videos of people using ketchup, using vinegar, um, using a bunch of different things like that on their bracelets. And that's actually not what Alex and Ani recommend you do. Um, if you're not using a cloth, if you have ones that are pretty dirty like these two here, um, that I have right here as an example. Um, what they actually want you to do um, is what I have here, two bowls. Uh, one is just water and soap, one is just water, and a toothbrush. Um, I just got just basically one of the cheapest toothbrushes I can get at the store. Um, this is dish soap. Um, you do want to use um, a light dish soap, so obviously, you know, free of chemicals if you can. Um, and what they say to do, you take one of your bracelets, you put it in there. Now, most people on their videos have been leaving them in there for 10 minutes. That's not what Alex and I suggest. They said just put it in there and brush. I'm not going super hard. this up a little bit in the video. Do a little rinse. And keep brushing. This actually has a bit of tarnish on it. This is actually one of my worst ones. So it's actually let me take a closer look, guys. Sorry. Take it out of the camera. So It's actually not working on this bracelet, um, which I don't know if this bracelet is just too far gone. Um, which is kind of very disappointing because um, I can actually get it done pretty well. I'm going to try this one because this one is more the medallion. Um, hoping for better results, but 
Let's see if the medallion one works. Okay, so that one works. So, sorry, I'm gonna take it out of here real quick to get a better look at it with my eyes. Okay, so the medallion one works because that's the one thing that's kind of hard about these medallion ones is getting kind of the little nooks and crannies so that definitely works um, I still highly recommend the brush or the cloth and just kind of make it a routine um, that's like the one thing that I kind of slacked on when I first got them is I didn't make it a routine. Yeah, the medallion one works. I'm still going to need to maybe do some more work on this one, um, on this peace sign one. It's not a medallion. I mean, it did definitely clean. It did not get rid of um, I've got some tarnishing on the edges, so I'm definitely going to look for other alternatives to get rid of the ones that are full gone. I just, something about using ketchup or vinegar worries me. And the fact that like Alex and Ani themselves, this is, that's not a recommended way that they say to clean it. They only recommend doing the cloth or doing this, the dish soap and the water and the toothbrush. Um, I mean, it is definitely much improved. So I am not busting this. I'm not saying, oh, this is wrong. They should never tell you to do that. It definitely works, but ones that are a little bit too far gone, like this one here, I'm probably gonna have to just put a little bit more elbow grease with the cloth and get that one looking good. Um, so again, if you have Alex and Ani bracelets. Go ahead and always use the Alex and Ani cloth. Um, this piece sign here, one of the reasons why it's messed up is I didn't use a cloth. So that's why it's tarnishing a little bit. Not tar I don't know if tarnishing is the right word because there's really just brass underneath the silver. So basically some of the silver got worn off because I was using the wrong cloth. Uh, but this was one of my first ones. Um, so yeah, dish soap, water, toothbrush, cloth. Those are the only four items you should be using on your Alex and Ani bracelets. Um, I wanted to definitely kind of put my two cents in. So like I said, I know a lot of people have been like, oh, use ketchup, use vinegar, use polishing paste. Um, I'm a little skeptical about the polishing paste as well as the vinegar and the ketchup, just because it's not what Alex and Ani recommends. So let me know in the comments below, have you used this method? Did you like it? Is there another way that you do that you found that works? Have you used the ketchup or the vinegar or the polishing paste for silver jewelry? And it works. Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope this helped you guys. And I'll see you next time, Akuna Matamas.